I'm John Patrick, and I'm a member of Saints Raphael, Nicholas, and Irene Greek Orthodox Church in Cumming, Georgia. Every Sunday, we are blessed to have our pastor give us a sermon, Father Barnabas Powell. Here now is Father Barnabas. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad you're here today. As we enter into this season, we will face a temptation. It will be a strong temptation. It will be a temptation that if we do not fight it, we will be captured by it. It is a temptation we have fallen into many times before. We will be so busy celebrating that we will forget to celebrate. We will be so busy preparing to celebrate we will forget to celebrate. A wise man once told me, he said, Father Barnabas, we Americans don't have a problem with fasting. And I looked at him and I thought to myself, are you serious? Have you seen me? It's just not. He said, no, 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 really, listen to me. Listen to what I say. He said, because we live in such a land of plenty, because we have everything we want at our hands at any time we want, because we have access to our wealth and to our, our resources at the drop of a hat. Reminds me of my little girl one time saying, Daddy, can I have this? And I told her, I said, no, honey, I don't have any money. She said, well, go to the wall and get some. <laughs> We Americans have so much. We have so much plenty. I was looking in my closets the other day and I'm thinking to myself, when was the last time I wore this? And it still fits, believe it or not. But I mean, why, why do I still have it? I went into my house and I looked at my house, I opened my refrigerator and we Americans are so rich that we have to have not only a refrigerator but a freezer. So that we can not only refrigerate the stuff that we have immediately, but we have to freeze the stuff that we have because we have so much. We have to freeze it because if we don't freeze it, it'll spoil. And even then, we have things that spoil in our kitchens. And so he said, now well, hear me out, Father Barnabas, hear me out. We don't have a problem with fasting. We have a problem with feasting, Father Barnabas, because in America, every day's a feast. Every day is plenty. Every day is the horn of plenty. Every day is the, the cornucopia. And you remember the old, the, when you were in school and they showed you the cornucopia, that, that was the symbol for Thanksgiving, that the, the horn with all the fruits and the, and the stuff pouring out of it. Every day is the horn of plenty for us. We don't, we don't have a problem with fasting. We're not even at the point where, we're, where we can deal with our problem with fasting. We have a problem with feasting. We don't know how to truly celebrate. In fact, I'll tell you just how messed up our country can be sometimes. We'll celebrate Christmas before Christmas. We've already started celebrating Christmas, and it isn't even, we're not even into the winter lift very well yet. The Christmas lights are already getting put up. Why, I venture to say many of us will even have our Christmas tree put up if we don't already. <laughs> I venture to say that many of us will be planning on putting our Christmas tree up the day after Thanksgiving. That's when I always put mine up. The day after Thanksgiving. Amazing. We are very much like the man in our story today. The gospel lesson today is of a man who looks around and he says, I have so much. I know what I'll do. I'll tear down my, my barns aren't big enough to hold all of the successful props that I've had this year. I just don't have enough room. So I know what I'll do. I'll tear down my barns and I'll build bigger barns. Now he's not in trouble yet. This is where he gets in trouble. He says, but then I will say to my soul, soul, take your ease. Eat, drink, and be merry. Take it easy, buddy. You can just take a break. 
There's nothing you need to pay attention to anymore. Now it's just time to relax and enjoy the bountiful harvest that you have. <clears throat> well, why is that bad? See, folks, I don't think that's bad. I think the problem is, the reason why, the reason why it can become bad is because if we allow our plenty to rock our soul to sleep, to not pay attention to that which is most important, Jesus will point it out in just a minute. If we allow our plenty to rock our soul to sleep, everything's fine. We don't have any problems. Everything's okay. We've got all kinds of freedom. We've got all kinds of abilities. Brothers and sisters, the trouble becomes when we allow that plenty to rock us to sleep to the needs of our soul. Precious friends, Jesus said it best. When in the story he says, that very night God said to this very wealthy man, you fool. Tonight your soul will be required of you. And then Jesus finishes the story by saying, and so it is with everyone who lives their life and doesn't have riches toward God. Precious friends, we're about to enter into Thanksgiving, the most religious secular holiday we Americans have. I will do what I always do get up that morning, make me a cup of coffee. No breakfast that day. We've got a save room. <laughs> Have a cup of coffee. Sit with the kids in the floor while Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade plays in front, waiting anxiously for Santa Claus to arrive at the end. And then we'll go and be with family and have a huge meal. Much more than I will ever need. And then there will be leftovers for a week after because of the plenty that we have. Brothers and sisters, enjoy that time. Celebrate. Enjoy your family. Spend time with them. Spend time with your kids, with your grandkids. Enjoy the decorating. Enjoy all of this time. Enjoy your friends that visit. Yes, do that. May God bless you and your family. May God watch over you and grant you peace. May the Lord fill you with everything you will ever need. But for a moment, will you take a moment during this time and check your spiritual bank account and see how your riches toward God I know you have full bank accounts. I know even in the midst of this difficult time, brothers and sisters, even in the midst of this difficult economic time, we Americans are far and away light years ahead of the vast majority of human beings on this planet. And we know that. The truth is we are far and away wealthier and more able and more filled with abilities than the vast majority of people who live on this planet. We are blessed people. Enjoy those blessings. But I beg you, lest a terrible word fall from the lips of God himself toward you, you fool. Tonight, your soul will be required of you. Brothers and sisters, knowing how good and how loving and how merciful and how gracious and how kind and how giving and how patient our God is with us, for a man to so vex the patience of God that God calls him fool. Surely you and I can heed this warning in our own hearts and check our spiritual bank account this morning. What are your riches like towards God? Father Barnabas, what are the riches towards God? Your prayer life? Your active practice of your faith on a regular basis. How dusty is your prayer corner in your home? Are the icons a little dusty there? Maybe dust them off and stand in front of it. Your candili. When is your candili lit? <coughs> Do your children see you placing priorities first on spiritual things? 
Are you teaching them, not just by your words, your words are lovely folks, don't get me wrong, but they're never enough. By your actions, are you teaching your children? These are riches towards God. <coughs> How do you prioritize your faith and your worship in the house of God? What does your physical bank account reflect the value of your spiritual bank account? Do they match? Do they have a connection? This morning, as we get ready to party hard, <coughs> In this lovely, beautiful, wonderful season, will you take a moment and check your riches towards God? It's worth the effort because there will be a day when you will give an account for your life and then all of the nice houses, all the fine cars, all the wonderful food, all the strong bank accounts, the great investments will mean nothing. And Jesus said it best. You fool, don't you know that tonight your soul will be required of you? And now look at all of these possessions. Who will they go to? Jesus finally said it best in Matthew 24 when he said, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust corrupts and where thieves can break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures treasures in heaven where the, neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be as well. Riches towards God. <coughs> I think it's time for me to check my bank account. I hope you enjoyed Father Barnabas Powell's homily. Come back again to Saints Raphael, Nicholas, and Irene, Greek Orthodox Church in Cumming, Georgia, 3074 Bethelview Road. Oh, and you can go to our website, stsrni.org. Thank you for coming, and we'll see you next time.